everyone, my name is Miss Brianna and today we are going to be reading this story. It's called The Foolish Tortoise and stay tuned after the book reading we are going to make this little tortoise craft. The Foolish Tortoise, pictures by Eric Carle, written by Richard Buckley. A tortoise tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go. took off his large and heavy shell and left it laying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Though faster he was not express and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak beneath the knees. I don't feel safe, there's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up, the tortoise fled. Along his way, our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat googly eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, he climbed back in and said, good night the end. Okay, to start our craft here, we're going to need a paper plate, or you can use a paper bowl. Um, we, I have a little head cut out and four little legs. Those are pre-cut out, but you can draw your own and cut them out. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper plate and you're going to draw a little circle in the very middle of the plate. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut just a straight line all the way to your circle like that. And then you're going to fold the plate over just to make a little mound like that. And you take your stapler or some tape and just staple it like that. Then you're going to take your little head and staple that on as well. All his little feet. Okay, and there's your tortoise. Okay, and you guys can color it with crayons, markers, or get out your paint and paint your little foolish tortoise.